Today we will discuss a very important theorem which is used in digital electronics. It is known as the De Morgan's theorem. The De Morgan's theorem is a very powerful tool in digital design. It is mainly used to solve the various Boolean algebraic expressions. There are two types of De Morgan's theorem. The first theorem states that the complement of a product of variables is equal to the sum of the complements of the individual variables. Mathematically, this can be written as the complement of, this denotes the complement, so the complement of the product of the variables will be equal to the sum of the complement of the individual variables. So this is the first theorem, that is, if we take the product of the variables and we take the complement of the product of the variables then it will be equal to the sum of the complement of the individual variables. The second theorem states that the complement of a sum of variables is equal to the product of the complements of the individual variables. Mathematically this can be written as the complement of the sum of the variables will be equal to the product of the complement of the individual variables. So we find that if we take the sum of the variables and then we take the complement of the sum of the variables then that will be equal to the product of the complement of the individual variables. This is the second De Morgan's theorem. Now the De Morgan's theorem is used for simplification of the operations having complement terms in it and as we discussed earlier that De Morgan's theorem is mainly used to solve various boolean algebraic expressions and it also defines the uniformity between the gates with the same inverted input and output. It is used for implementing the basic gate operations like NAND gate and the NOR gate and it is mainly used in digital programming and for making the digital circuit diagrams. Hope that the De Morgan's theorem is clear to all of you.